Hey, hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagal Prajapati, and in this video, I will be talking about in one of the question which was being asked by one of the subscriber. Okay, so before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel that is Geek Coders, and here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, SQL, Python, and so on. So if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's go to the question. If I open my notepad, then the question is: Suppose we have ten files in blob storage, and I am copying the data sequentially into SQL DB through copy activity using for each activity. But my copy activity fails while copying fifth number of the file. Then I have to stop the execution and come out from each activity for each activity. So here. He mentioned SQL DB instead of instead of I will use blob storage only. Okay, so let me go to the portal. You can see we have this testing underscore two dot csv testing underscore four dot csv. We have uh, testing dot csv. Okay, and I have okay these files we have it, and this is my uh, ADF and here like. This is the pipeline. So, what will I do first? I will drag for each and drop it here, and here I will tick sequentially, and then, then what will I do? I will create first parameter. One parameter, let's say, uh, params, and here I choose array, and here I pass my file name which has to be copied so let's say i am writing testing.csv for now and then testing uh, dot underscore two dot csv and then here i am writing like testing uh, something name okay dot csv and then i am passing the correct name so testing dot csv is done let me go to this for each and here i will choose this param as a parameter okay if i click on this then i have to drag this copy activity and here i will choose a link service and then what will i do i will choose a, a, a sync site and then if i go to here go to my data set here i will create one more parameter that is blob and if i go back here i will use my blob parameter okay it is done and setting is first row as header everything is fine go back to the copy data activity here i will choose my container that is source and blob blob is blob is go to here and I will choose this item. If I go to sync part, here I will write my container name that is sync and the blob name. Blob name is same as the same as the source side. Okay. Okay, that is done. Now, if I run this, if I run this, then what will happen? We will show you first. So let me run it. So it is running. It will take some time, not more than two, three, two, two, two minutes. Okay. It is running. It got failed. Let's see what is the issue. Blob is missing. Blob. Okay. That's my bad. Let me go back and change my link service. So if I open this and if I you know if I if I open this then here I have to choose my correct link service let me run it again if you notice here if you notice with the parameters 
then you can see I have given testing dot CSV testing underscore two dot CSV and then testing five three five CSV and the fourth testing dot CSV. So these two files are present. Okay, these two files are present, but this file testing five three five is not present in my source side. Okay, so what will happen now? One two third part will fail, and then fourth fourth uh, fourth copy data instance will will be triggered okay if you can see it got filled and again this fourth one is uh, you know will is triggered but i do not want this i want if this fails then i do not want to run this copy data fourth one okay so let me cancel it and for that what will i do i will create one variable let's say check point and Okay. and initial value of this is let's say uh, let's say I will choose a boolean and let's say it is uh, true if I open my for each here I will choose if else and here I will write uh, one uh, you know one one condition that is that is that is at the rate equals and I will pass here I will pass here checkpoint okay this variable if this variable is true if it is true okay if it is true then I have to run this copy activity paste it over here and what if if this copy activity fails so what will i do you i click on this button and i will go to this failure option and here i will choose set variable so i will set my variable choose the variable which we have uh, created the starting and assign false okay now see what will happen I will tell you uh, in the parameter side you can see testing.csv gone it is correct testing2.csv also gone suppose it is running there and if I go to here then the uh, you know the variable which we created the value of this variable is true only so it will go inside this to act to block and then our copy activity will run if it is succeeded we do not are uh, doing anything okay so it will go like that and the third part if the parameter you, you can see my parameter third is index is testing 535 so this file will not find out okay so it will go here and it will check even the condition is true it will go here and uh, you know this copy activity will fail for that file because file not found and then it will go to this set variable and here what i am doing i am updating my value with false now with the fourth in the fourth uh, in the fourth loop okay in the fourth loop if i show you the parameter uh, you know parameter value in the fourth value i have given test notes here with the file which is present here so it will go inside again it will check this condition this condition will become false if you see i have put this condition variable two but we have assigned reassigned the value uh, with false okay so it will not go inside this copy activity and then you know this copy activity will not perform so let me run it and we'll show you the real time demo so it is running it it will take some uh, two to three minutes so you can see first if condition succeeded it will succeed it is in progress now so see first one succeeded copy data is done second one will also succeed let me refresh it let me refresh it again so first one is done second one is done now third one will fail for this copy data one will fail
yes you can see this is first one okay it it is passed second one will also pass so it is passed this is failed because table not found or file not found you can say blob is missing okay blob not found if it fails then we do not have any copy data activity for the fourth one so the loop will be triggered the loop will be triggered but the copy activity or copy data activity will not be triggered okay so this is what i think this is the solution for this problem which we discussed okay i hope you have understand this and uh, if you like the video do subscribe and share to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited thank you